Let's see how to create a macOS virtual machine on any Mac with Apple Silicon. First, open your browser and search for UTM. Click the first result to open the official website, then download the app. Once the file is downloaded, open it and drag UTM into your applications folder. Now the installation is complete, so let's open UTM. If you see a security message, just click open. Next, click create a new virtual machine. Choose virtualize, then select macOS 12 plus and click continue. Now choose how much RAM to allocate. I recommend at least four gigabytes, but you can adjust depending on your Mac. Leave CPU cores on default and click continue. Set the size of the virtual machine drive. 64 gigabytes is fine for light use, but increase it if you need more storage. Then click continue. Check your settings and click save. UTM will now download the macOS files automatically. Just wait until the process is finished. Once the files are downloaded, click the play button, then OK to start installing macOS. The installation may take a few minutes, and you'll see the progress bar at the top. When it's done, macOS will boot up. Just follow the standard setup process. Choose your language and region. Select Setup as New Mac and click Continue. Click Next a few times, then create your account name and password. You can sign in with your Apple ID, or skip it for now by choosing Setup Later. Agree to the terms and conditions. Location services are really needed in a virtual machine, so I'll disable them. Go through the last few options like Analytics and Siri, and then you'll reach the macOS welcome screen. Click Continue and your virtual machine is ready. It works just like a real Mac, but without affecting your main system, perfect for testing or experimenting. In System Settings, you'll see that UTM installed the latest version of macOS, which right now is 1.5.6.1. To shut down the VM, just power it off as you would on any Mac. After a few seconds, you'll see the play button again, that means it's off. To reopen it, just select the VM and click play. It will ask for the password you created, and you can start using it again. If this video helped you, please leave a like and subscribe for more tutorials.